Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Louis Bose. And I'm Katrina Walcott. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Starting as soon as next month, the police can begin confiscating tens of thousands of licenses not in compliance to the new standards. Notices have been sent out to more than 66,300 affected cardholders to bring in the required documents to get a new Real ID driver's license. The MVA must have the identification documents, such as social security information and birth certificate, on file, leading to a mass recall of defunct Real ID cards. First Sergeant Michael W. Laney states they're not allowed to have it, and adds that a driver with a taken Real ID license could still drive without a license for a few days. St. Mary's government is looking into changing its noise regulations after several complaints from county residents and questions about whether or not the county laws are as strict as state laws. County Attorney David Westkoff said that various county departments have received complaints about noise pr produced by dump trucks, wedding venues, businesses being too loud, and go-kart tracks in a resident's backyard. The current regulation for the state is that between the hours of 7 a.m. and 10 p.m., noise can't exceed 65 decibels in residential areas. St. Mary's College hikes tuition costs by 2% for the 2019-2020 school year. That means that for in-state students, their price will be raised from $11,878 to $12,116 per year, and out-of-state students' costs rise from $27,640 to $28,192 per year. Michael Wick, the college's Provost and Academic Dean, said that costs are increasing due to a lessening of state support and higher costs to the college. After four long days, the Smack Tennis Tournament ended with Huntingtown and Great Mills tying with 12 points. It was decided the following Friday that they would be co-champions. Great Mills head coach Shelby Mullinex said that she was extremely proud of the players this season and that they worked really hard. Also, the Leonardtown Raiders baseball team season was ended Saturday afternoon. The Raiders finished at 15 wins to 6 losses, which meant the end of the season. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Katrina Walcott. And I'm Louis Bose. Signing, signing off. off.